Welcome children to the next online class of science for class 5. Chapter 2 The Skeletal System In the previous classes you have learnt about the functions of the skeletal system and various parts of the skeletal system in detail. You have also learnt about the joints in which part of the body the joints are present and also how they are helpful for you. Today's class we will start with the muscular system. You know that the bones cannot move by themselves. They are pulled by muscles. And what these muscles are? They are made up of thick elastic tissues. They are attached to the bones through tough bands of tissues called as tendons. So what are tendons? Tendons are the tissues which attach the muscles to the bones. Okay. Hope you have understood. This is very important that tendons are the tissues which connect the bones to the muscles. You know which is the largest tendon in the body? It is Archelaus tendon and is the it is present in the calf muscles. Okay. It connects the calf muscle to the heel bone. We can walk, run and do other activities because of this tendon only. The muscles can only pull the bones and they do not push them. This is why your bone uses two muscles to make a bone move. How that happens? Let us understand with the help of this diagram. As you can see here, there are two types of muscles. What are they? Biceps and triceps. Okay. So here what happens is that one muscle helps to pull it in one direction and the other pulls it in the opposite direction. Thus, the pair of muscles, they work together by contracting and relaxing to move a bone. Let us take the example of the bones found in the upper arm. Okay. They are biceps and triceps. So, when you are folding the arm at that time, the biceps contract and triceps relax. This results in lower arm moving towards the upper arm and you can fold your arm. Whereas, as I told already that the pair of muscles, they always work together by contracting and relaxing. So, here you have seen that biceps are contracting and triceps are relaxing. Whereas, when the muscle will straighten, we will see that at that time, biceps relax and triceps contract. This results in lower arm moving away from the upper arm and you have straightened your arm. Okay, so you have understood how when you fold the arm, how the muscles are acting opposite to each other and when you straighten your arm at that time also the muscles are acting opposite to each other. This is also known as antagonistic function of the muscles. You will learn more about them in your higher classes. Okay. Let us continue with the types of muscles in the body. The muscles are classified into three main types. They are cardiac muscles, smooth muscles and skeletal muscles. As the name itself suggests, the cardiac muscles. I have already told you in the first chapter that the muscles found in the heart are known as cardiac muscles. Hope you remember the first classes of the first chapter. Now this cardiac muscle helps the heart work continuously without a break. The body cannot control the cardiac muscle. They are 
involuntary muscles means they are not under the control of the will of a person that is whether you want or not the cardiac muscles will go on working continuously it is not under your control the body cannot control it so they are also known as involuntary muscles second is smooth muscles now this type of muscle is found in digestive system blood vessels and many other organs they are also involuntary muscles and as you know before i have explained you before that how the involuntary muscles are the ones which are not under the control of the body you cannot control their actions whether you are sleeping running or you want or not these muscles will continuously work like digestive system respiratory system excretory system in all these systems these smooth muscles are present now the most important one the skeletal system you will be very happy to know about it now whether when you want you can move your hand when you want you can move your leg when you want you can nod your head isn't it so these muscles are under the control of your body that means the body can control it therefore they are voluntary muscles okay and where are they present these muscles are attached to the bones through the tendons i told you in the beginning of the class therefore they help in movement and these type these muscles are the only type of muscles that your body can control they are voluntary muscles also known as skeletal muscle why they are also known as skeletal muscle just think about it yes because these muscles are attached to your skeletal system isn't it and you can move also and helps in the body to move and body can control it also okay that's all for today's class children in the next class we will discuss the chapter further thank you